Hi guys, it's the Clipper King returning with another ratings video and this time it's not an Hot Toys figure, it's the Enter Bay Bruce Lee Fist of Fury. Got the film playing, Here's the packaging, the extras, the stand, diorama, most importantly, the figures. Right, you've all probably seen me uh, unboxing video by now, so you're expecting this review coming. Uh, it's one I've been really looking forward to doing, so uh, I'll crack on with it. Right, source material. As you can see, we've got Fist of Fury playing. I just say, like I said on the unboxing video, I know I was a Bruce Lee fan that Enter the Dragons, the most well-known film of Bruce Lee's, but I've got to say, when I was growing up watching Bruce Lee films, I always preferred Fist of Fury. I thought it had the best action sequences in it. Uh, just really enjoyed the story, uh, this, the scene where he knocks fuck out them Japs in that uh, Japanese training school. I think it's one of classic fight scenes of all time, probably still, if uh, if I'm being honest. So I uh, really look forward to getting this figure, and uh, like I said, I rate the film very highly. So straight away on source material, I'm going to personally give it a 5 out of 5. Now what I would say on that is, that's not just for the film, it's the fact that it's a Bruce Lee as well. So... Yeah, most people would concede that uh, Bruce Lee, obviously, is a legend. So, like I say, on source material, I'll give it 5 out of 5. Right, the packaging. As you can see, the first thing that hits you about the packaging is awesome front cover artwork, I think. Really good shot. Just the position over in the box, the fact that it's black and white with a red writing, just really cool looking. The second thing that hits you, probably the size of it, it's fucking humongous. Yeah, it's just like I said on the unboxing, it is a proper big bastard. Um, and like I said, other than the fact that the diorama's in it, probably wouldn't need to be that uh, size, but the fact it is just makes it extra cool. You all know I rate the uh, Godfather box very highly. I like the uh, recent Chris Taylor box. Re that was a really good one. But this one, it's definitely up there. Maybe even past Godfather, if I'm being honest. Just a really nice box. Um will say as well, it is mint condition. Parcel Force managed to fuck up the outer box. But the silly bastards didn't manage to smash up the uh, front corners for me, which I'm pleased about. Now, that is mainly down to the seller. So when I did buy this figure, I did specify to him that I'd like it as soon as possible, and obviously the price I'll pay for it, uh, especially for the shipping, that uh, if he could be extra careful with the wrapping, because I've been having these problems with Parcel Force, and the seller I use at the minute from China is really, really good, and uh, I will put his name along the bottom, and uh, obviously clear up how much I paid for it and everything. So on the packaging, I'm going to give it a definite 5 out of 5. Right, onto the likeness. As you can see, I've got two versions of the figures. Um, and what I would say, the two head sculpts that come with it are both absolutely fantastic. That's the angry face. And at the moment, I've got him wearing with the side part of the hairdo. That's the more natural face. Got him with the ruffled hair. And you do also get the slick back hair, which, apart from uh, a couple of screenshots I've seen... Uh, I don't remember him having his hair like that in the film, but um, it is a nice extra anyway. It gives you a lot of choice. Now, I do like this scene, and I mentioned it on the unboxing video. This is where this fucking ugly little Japanese twat comes and slaps him up face. And you can just see on his face, he just wants to fucking take him outside and smash him up. Now, that's more the look that I've gone for in this figure. As you can see... Really nice, awesome stance I think, and the face sculpt, I just wish this camera would do it justice, but I'm going to put a showcase on, show you what the figure really looks like, and put a bit of music to it, and hopefully that turns out well, uh, but yeah, the likeness is unbelievable, so that's that figure, really like it, like I said, it's from that scene in the movie, 
and I'll uh, show you the other scene. The other outfit is obviously where he uh, it takes the sick man of Asia sign back to uh, Japanese training school and knocks fuck out of them all. So as you can see on the plasma he's wearing the blue kung fu suit. Fuck, awesome seeing this. I would think you've all seen Fist of Fury but really really good scene. Like I said on the Chris Taylor film as well when certain figures come out you really... Uh, you really go back and study this source material again and me and Callum will be sitting down and watching this and I'll just be schooling him on things that I enjoyed when I was a kid. Well, like I said, this scene is fucking awesome. There's the sign. And there's the sign that comes with it. Right, so just concentrating on this figure. You can see he got him in a pretty cool kung fu stance. Yeah, like I say, he's just about to go through them all, smash them up. So the likenesses, clearly, has got to be 5 out of 5, no question about it. Outfits, right. But I'll say, the two outfits that you do get to, with the Fist of Fury figure, obviously, he comes wearing the white funeral suit and the uh, blue kung fu suit comes uh, bagged up. Both outfits, awesome, 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 all the way through. Top, top quality. They feel lightweight, but really good material. The blue kung fu suit is sort of like silk. It just hangs nice. The pleats in it are excellent. The clips to hold his ankles tight around his waist, I, just really good the white suit really nice well done iron the, the trousers like iron so the creases fall right the shoes are excellent sculpted on that one and like a cloth shoe on that one really good so the outfits that come with the uh, the figure I give them a definite five out of five what I am going to say at this section is anybody who watched me unbo unboxing knows that from a different seller I also bought the spare enter bay uh, BL 2.5 body which I'm using on that figure at the moment and I also bought the uh, Enter the Dragon black cat suit which came with spare socks uh, some more cloth shoes the duffel bag and inside the duffel bag is a rope with the spare body I bought I got the two fisted hands that he was wearing and then I got another wide open hand this one here I got the Kung Fu style hands which is this one and this one so uh, the outfits all together like I say definite five out of five got three good outfits articulation right when I took the uh, figures out of the box on the unboxing video, you could see that it is a sculpted body. So I can't really compare it with a standard true type body. What I could compare it with is a body similar to the likes of a Wolverine body or the T800 Octoys body. Like I said, they are sculpted. They look good when they're not clothed. Probably the Royce body could fall into that category and probably the Prince Daston um, one. Now what I would say, the articulation is not as good as a standard true type, but... The body itself is excellent. It weighs a lot more. It's a lot sturdier. There isn't a Bruce Lee pose that I've found that you can't get into. So I can't really knock him down. The ankles are fantastic on these. Because this one's a 3.5 body. Which is the newest one from Enter Bay. This one's a 2.5. But it's had the, the ankle joints changed on it. So when he's posed like that with his leg out. He can still put his foot flat. Which is really good. It really makes a difference to certain stances. So the articulation again, although it's not a double jointed elbow, which would have been nice, it does pose fantastic. So I'm still going to give it a five out of five.
extras or accessories as some people like to call them because it's a rating on just this figure I'm going to say what just came with the figure I'm not going to go into the detail on the extras, extra things I bought so like I say obviously the box is massive and that is massive because it brings the diorama which is absolutely fantastic it is solid wood it's well carved it's really good it's like varnished it's excellent and it will hold both figures so that in itself is an amazing extra I think the Predator base was awesome but this is probably on another level still that's a really good extra you get the uh, sick men of Asia sign which is presented to him by the Japanese and it's the one he's it brings back to him in this scene, smash it open, makes him eat the uh, paper out of it. So that comes. The hands, he came wearing two fists. Then he gets two relaxed hands. The pointing hand, the hand for holding the nunchuckers. And this, the hand with it, like that. Like I say, it's got two head sculpts, it's got two outfits. And it's got another hairdo, which is a slick back hair, like I said. Now, that extras to me are fantastic. So I've got to give them. A 5 out of 5. Go on, Bruce. Fuck that fat fuck up. Right, value. I'll tell you what I paid for it, and I'll tell you what I paid for shipping, and also what I paid for the spare body and the spare outfit. Right, the Fist of Fury figure itself was £204, which converts to $300 US. I bought it from China, from one of the sellers I use quite regular. Now, £200 for a figure plus is a lot of money, but as you all know, I paid 280 for my Predator, which is another figure I really wanted. So I looked at it, it is brand new, never been opened, like I say it's got the certificate of authenticity and everything with it, uh, mint condition box, um, and I do trust the seller that sold it me. So it is a lot of money, but the thinking I had on it were, if I were to buy two Hot Toys figures, that would have probably cost me the same anyway, and I knew that uh, I'd been waiting for a length of time for the Hot Toys Bruce Lee, and I couldn't wait any longer sort of thing, so I thought... It's a lot of money to shell out. The shipping, obviously, because the box is so big, cost me about £43. So looking at £250 for the old set. But I thought, because I'm not too bothered about the white suit, but I do really want two good Bruce Lees. I'm going to have to buy a spare body, and I want another outfit. So I bought the spare body, which were about £23, and I bought the outfit, which were about £18, uh, that were posted. So altogether, it's probably cost me about £290 delivered, which is a lot of money. For a figure, no doubt about that. But uh, the other thing I took into consideration where I do watch a lot of figures on eBay all the time. Now, I've never seen an Enter Bay Bruce Lee figure sell in the UK for less than £300. So I thought, whatever I pay for it, I'm always going to be able to make that money back if I ever find myself struggling. And also, what I've got to take into account is the ones I've been watching are the Enter the Dragon ones. Now, with the Enter the Dragon figures, there's two different versions, but neither version comes with two head sculpts. They do come with two outfits, but not two head sculpts. So I know that if I were to box this up with the spare body I bought and another outfit, I know that takes the all-over value of this figure up well into 350 mark, maybe upwards. Because nobody else is selling a Fist of Fury Bruce Lee with two bodies and three outfits. Now I know that for a fact. So the value on it, it costs a lot, but I think it's worth a lot. Um, the value is never going to rock it, I don't think, up from what I've paid. But I definitely think it's worth the money. It's uh, one of the figures. Uh, I think there's some corner uh, milestone moments when you're a collector. Certain figures just that little bit better than everything else. And I definitely had that when I bought the Predator. That's, um, in my consider, the term must owns banded around a little bit too much. When you really, really sit down and consider must own figures, there isn't that many. I think uh, Predator 1's a definite must-own. Probably T-800's a must-own. I think Blade's a must-own. But, like I said, the milestone figures for me have been the uh, Billie Jean Michael Jackson, the Predator 1, and this. This is how special I rate this figure. So, yeah, it's worth more to me 
than I can uh, put a price on. But like I said, that's what I paid for it. So on the value scoring, I'm going to give it... Um, I'm going to give it a 4. I could easily give it a 5, but I'll give it a 4. So, um, yeah, the overall score on this figure is 34 out of 35. I hope you guys enjoy seeing it as much as I've enjoyed posing it and filming it. And uh, like I said, the unboxing's already on. Check that out if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this review and there'll be a showcase video coming shortly, hopefully. So uh, this is a Clipper King and I'm out of here.